What's up, guys? It's Eli Knight with Knight Jiu Jitsu and with Aperture. I'm here with my man Chad Lyman, training at an Extreme Couture today. And uh, we're doing a little bit of training and stuff and going over some techniques. And we were discussing a couple of deep half guard points. And deep half guard is a position I like a lot because it's, it's built off of knee shield. And knee shield is a good barrier for me whenever I have a pressure passer kind of coming in. It creates some space and it's a really uprooting kind of position. So there's two main options that I usually look at off of here that uh, are the two most common energies I think I encounter uh, more than anything else. So I'm gonna start from a knee shield position like this here. So I'm framing, I'm going across the shoulder, I'm, I'm blocking the arm here. My knee shield is in place. I'm hooking the bottom inside leg here. And I'm gonna, once I get him committed to that pressure here, then I'm gonna dive in, I'm gonna go ahead in this way, scoop. And so three things are happening at once. I'm underhooking with this one. This leg's kicking past and I'm gonna underhook the leg like this. So whenever I dive in here like this, now once I come across, if he doesn't sit back like this, he's just gonna go over on his face like that, right? But most of the time the guy will stabilize by coming back here. So a common one here, because the pressure is going back like that, I'm gonna grab here on the ankle. I'm gonna go hamstring to hamstring with him. Turn this way, sit up and over. I wanna rotate out so I get in this position. I wanna keep the legs apart while I clear so I'm not stuck in half guard. And then I can go to work top, like reverse scarf hold or top side control. Now another common one from here that's a, another good example of energy that he might give me is whenever we get to this position here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm still gonna dive in like this, but this time I was able to get this foot hooked behind his leg like that. So whenever I get there, I wanna hide this arm. I don't want him attacking this arm here, so I hide it underneath my leg. And I'm gonna use this hook in the back here to pass his leg over, scoop my head out the back like this, kick through it here, come back. I'm gonna take the back here, start looking for my choke, back control, all that. So again, that knee shield position is really strong. And so whenever you have an aggressive passer that's passing to that side, getting that knee shield in place with the different frames, it's a good way to stave off the pressure, get him committed to that, and then manipulate that energy to be able to take the back or be able to sweep. Right on, Chad, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, it's outstanding, it's outstanding. So um, I like that he's chaining stuff together and linking it, which is something that's very, very common. So he's got a, he's taking my base, he's sliding under me, and then he's starting to get me play with my base or my movement, and then he's chaining stuff together. So he's, he's anticipating the likely outcome. That leads to a high probability of success. Great, great stuff. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you very much, brother. Keep watching Aperture, guys. Keep Thank watching you. Aperture.